meteorologist Jamie Warner. Uh, still keeping an eye on a severe weather threat to the southeast of Springfield. Tornado watches remain in effect for south central Missouri, north central Arkansas. And we've got this broken line of strong to severe storms, which continues to press off to the east. This is the most concerning one. This is a tornado warned storm that has now made its way out of northeast Izzard County and into west central areas of Sharp County. Looks like the storm threat with this one centered south of Ash Flat, moving southeast at 30 miles per hour. And we've got our scope data on there for you, so you can see that rotation as it makes its way across Horseshoe Bend and now south of Ash Flat. Still radar uh, uh, indicated tornado. We have not gotten any ground truth from that one, but this storm also has been producing large hail to the size of ping pongs as it drops toward the southeast. Additional storms further west uh, across parts of uh, Izzard County, north of Melbourne. Also looking at some storms northwest of Mountain View. Those are severe with some large hail potential and maybe damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour. Looking at what's going on right now, I showed you that tornado watch, but realistically, our severe weather threat has ended for areas, uh, you know, for northwestern Shannon County, northwestern Howell County, back into uh, Marion County. East of this line that I've drawn on the map for you, this is where we still have a lot of low level humidity and storms can still develop. Uh, realistically, though, with this initial wave of thunderstorms, that will reduce the overall threat of severe weather behind them. Uh, so it looks like maybe another hour, hour and a half, and we should be done with the severe weather threat that we're finding over south central Missouri, north central Arkansas, but it will continue into the evening hours further east across southeast Missouri and northeast Arkansas ahead of this cold front as it pushes toward the east. Yes, we are looking at a quieter regime moving in overnight tonight and setting us up for Friday as we close out this week. Our hour by hour forecast a little slow. This model data a little slow with the uh, storm development and also the placement of the storms, but you get the idea. This is six o'clock. You could probably draw that line right about in there by seven o'clock. I expect most of that storm threat to be completely out of our area. And then the remainder of the night, we're just looking at partly cloudy skies with temperatures getting colder again. And tomorrow looks much cooler. We'll find partly sunny to mostly cloudy conditions. There's going to be a fair amount of high cloudiness throughout the day, but my hope is we at least get some filtered sunshine and we'll hold off rain chances until overnight Friday night. In regard to temperatures, they're going to be turning colder. It looks like readings dipping into the upper 30s in many areas north of Highway 60, south of Highway 60. It looks like lows in the low to mid 40s. And then tomorrow, we revert back to jacket weather after being able to wear shorts today. Highs in the low 50s north to low to mid 50s to the south. Looks like about 53 here in Springfield. Next storm is spinning away over the southwest. That storm will move out this weekend, and it is going to make for a wet, cold day on Saturday. Uh, the front end of the weekend is just going to be better spent, I think, indoors as it looks like we're going to see a steady rain set in and that steady rain will continue through most of the day on Saturday and that's going to hold temperatures down. It's going to feel like wintertime all over again with highs only in the 40s and we will get a soaking rainfall with most locations picking up between three quarters of an inch and an inch and a half of rainfall. And guess what? The rain is not done there. We get a break on Sunday and then next week on a daily basis. We will see wet weather at least at times through at least Thursday. Chance for showers Monday, Tuesday. Chance for showers and a few thunderstorms on Wednesday as instability starts to increase. And I think Thursday may be the day to watch for a chance for some severe weather in addition to some heavy rainfall. Okay, what's our viewers club number tonight? The number tonight is 253-200 and our jackpot is $300. Okay, more news ahead here at 5.